Welcome back to Imcom Solutions. My name is Jake, and today we're going to be doing a follow up video to the Gotenna Pro X2. Uh, at the time, I was waiting to hear back from one of their representatives to get a little more details uh, because they're not. <clears throat> Their website is, uh, didn't have them available for sale at the time, so I was looking for a little more information so I could provide it to you all. And they did get back to me, and I'm just getting around to making this video. I apologize for my voice. I'm a little under the weather, so bear with me, please. Um, so first thing I'm going to say, just a real recap. If you haven't seen the original video, I'll link it down below. Uh, but in a gist, they are a like their older versions they're a mesh uh, radio uh, but they do not use LoRa or the uh, ISM band as like a lot of other mesh radios out there they are and these ones are using uh, a combination of VHF and UHF frequencies within the part 90 FCC uh, licensing and which requires a business license to operate them uh, so that's going to rule out a lot of people uh, because a lot of people are not going to want to spend the money to get a business license. I've seen a lot of different um, price ranges for that. A lot of times it's hard to find because there's just like anything the FCC does, does is complicated to <clears throat> navigate their system. There's companies out there that offer services that will do it for you for four to seven hundred dollars is what I've seen. However, I've heard the license is much less than that, but that's if you navigate it on your own. <clears throat> so uh, I will be doing a future video on the FCC's Part 90 business license and whether or not it's something you should consider for your communications plans. And it's going to be a very uh, specific group of people that probably will fall into that category, but uh, I feel like it's still something that needs to be explored. There is some others uh, I've seen out on YouTube that are doing it so they can take advantage of encryption. All right, so back to the Gotennas, right? These ones are the latest and greatest, the Pro X or Pro X2s, which are pretty impressive radios based off of the specifications from Gotenna. Uh, I have not used one. They uh, run around $1,200 a unit, which is... Um, significantly more than uh, the Beartooth uh, <clears throat> Mark II radios. And um, there's a lot of add-ons to these. It, Like I said in the original video, they are definitely selling them towards or catering them towards the, um, you know, more law enforcement, uh, government sector. That, hence the... the um, the part 90 uh, requirement. So um, <clears throat> if you guys have more questions about them, let me know. Uh, the uh, individual I've been talking with did offer to do a call with him so I could have some more discussions. But right now I don't have a lot of interest from, from my viewers on that. If you do have interest, let me know. And maybe if I have enough interest, I will schedule a call with them and, and ask them some more detailed questions. All right. So uh, if you're new here, hey, if you like talking about emergency communications, mesh radios, unlicensed communications, everything else in between, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like, check us out uh, via our website, links down below, and our other social media links if you want to stay connected with us. Thanks for watching. Till next time.